Hello, so today I thought I'd make a video on my monarch breeding just because I have so many different stages right now. Uh, I was going to make a short video, but I'm not going to kid myself. I'm bad at that. Everything always ends up being way longer than it should be, but we'll try. Alright, so I don't have like all of my supplies with me, but I have some of it. So uh, this is basically my breeding cage. Usually I'd use something bigger, uh, but yeah, I feed them. On this tray there, there's a paper towel, and it has what I what I call 10-week nectar, and there is a video, uh, I'll put a link in the description, where I show you how to make it. I also have a slice of watermelon, uh, and monarchs love that. You can see there's one on it right now. Before I put it in the cage, I was just lowering it in. It was still on my hand, and the monarch started attacking my hand, and then when I set it down, it took about three seconds for the first monarch to land on it. There's a monarch eating it right now. Um, there are nine monarchs. Uh, three of them are females. And they mate. They're not always there. Oh, wait, right here. Look at this. The monarch, one of the females, is laying an egg. You can see her tasting the host plant. A lot of brush-footed butterflies taste the host plant with their feet. Uh, my monarchs have have all really been more into tasting it just with their proboscis, which is what they use to drink nectar. But they have taste buds all over their body. But she just laid an egg on the milkweed uh, that I have here. I used a floral pick, you can see, to attach it. And I used a twist tie. I took the, took the waxy plastic coating off the end so that I could feed it through the hole, holes in the mesh and I just hung it on the sunny side of the cage. So all I have to do is turn the cage like this. And when the butterflies fly, they'll be attracted to that sunlight. So th the females will land on the host plant and they will lay eggs. Eek, gotta get up. All right. So then in here, I have, well, there's my, there's my 10 week nectar that I have. I make some and then I store the extra in a refrigerator. Um, and here I have some some common milkweed. I just store it in a bag. This is a Sclepia syriaca. And one thing that I just started because my dad went out to go get groceries and I asked for a couple more boxes to raise the caterpillars in. And he came back with the ones, with these fancy ones that are even better than what I had expected. These are really nice. These are my favorite kind. And I, I raised them in this and I actually stacked them now that I have a lot of them. Uh, so this is my caterpillar towers. So I raised my caterpillars in these. These are well cleaned. Make sure they're nice and clean so that the bacteria doesn't kill caterpillars. I clean them with bleach, I scrub them, I even use Q-tips to get into these little nooks and crannies. And then I line the bottom with a paper towel, a nice dry paper towel, and I add some milkweed leaves. You can see they eat like crazy as caterpillars, and they also poop like crazy, so I still have to clean the cage today. Uh, I also wash the milkweed before it goes in the refrigerator and right before I feed it to them. I make sure I wash the, the leaves. I wash off all the predators, any bugs that may be on it, as well as other things. And then I just give them some fresh food, as you can see here. The monarchs are actually a species that if they're in a confined space and there's too many in one place, they can actually be cannibalistic. They will, the caterpillars will eat unhatched eggs, <coughs> excuse me, and um, younger caterpillars if they don't have food and space. So I've been separating them. And I will continue to do so as they get older to make sure that nothing bad happens to my to my caterpillars. Just place in some food. But they're getting quite big. 
You know, it's kind of funny because most of the caterpillars are on the undersides of the leaves. Yesterday, I was showing my mom the caterpillar's progress. She's like, there's not very many in here. And I'm like, actually, there's 35 in this one. And she's like, how is that even possible? So I started flipping the leaves over. Hopefully, it'll do the same effect. Oh, yeah, there we go. See, this is the side that's facing up. And when you flip it over, there's all of these guys. This was the one that had the majority, but it looks like they've moved. So, let me show you something that was a little concerning for a little bit with me, but uh, I don't think it's going to be anything major. Uh, it was this little guy right here. So, most of the monarchs that I have as caterpillars. I'll show you this guy first. You can see I have a nice pattern, solid white stripe. But this guy... He's only yellow and black and has this like broken line. If I can get my camera to focus. There we go. But you see there's another one. So I think it may actually just be a genetic thing because I did get these eggs from three different females. So there is a small number of them that do have that pattern. So I'm thinking that it might just be the one female that laid eggs like and the caterpillars all look like that because there's another one on the wall here with that same pattern so I think I think that's all it is is there's just a little bit of variation in the color between the eggs laid by the three different females but if I do notice any other problems I will take another box, a very small one, or maybe even just like a little plastic jar with good ventilation, and I will isolate him and the rest of them so that they all grow by themselves, but I don't think it's anything major. Oh, and would you look at that? There is a mating pair right now. You can see this. They are still... Wait, this was a good day to film because you can see there is uh, some cording going on right now. I'm just going to ever so slightly unzip this so that you can see. Nope, that's not going to work from that angle. Here, I'll just probably do it through the, through the mesh. But there's something really cool happening right now. You can see that butterfly up against the wall and there's another one right there. They are, there's some a mating pair that just happened right there. And that is, that's so interesting.